Okay, now can you imagine feeding your family for less than a hundred dollars a week? Get out of town. I I'm here to stay, Carl, because our next guest does exactly that. Well, Victoria mother, Claire Riley, she knows how to cook up a storm without breaking the budget. And Claire joins us now from her home in Victoria. Claire, good morning to you. Take us through this spread in front of you right now. Where has it all come from? Good morning. Well, um, yesterday I went and did our regular fortnightly grocery shop. Um, so we've got this um, selection over this side here is from Aldi. So it's not just groceries. We also get our dishwashing detergent and clothes washing. Um, and I do most of our house cleaning with vinegar and bicarb um, and nappies for our two and a half year old. Um, then I also go to the local butcher and that's mostly because I like the quality of their meat and I like to be able to have a chat to the people behind the mm. counter. <laughs> Um, and then the farmer's market um, I went to yesterday, so heaps of veggies, fresh produce, fruit, obviously. Um, I even found turmeric yesterday, which was nice. And all of that under $100? Um, and then, no, um, well, yeah, so this was a, t a fortnightly shop. I, we do our groceries for fortnightly. So it was $192 for everything you see here, which will feed us for a fortnight. That's cool. Golly, that's amazing. Yeah. And so is that part of yeah. the trick, Claire, that uh, do you follow specials around? Is that how you keep to that budget? No, I, um, I don't tend to follow specials around. We don't get catalogues and, and that sort of thing. Um, I just know that for us the best deal is to do our bulk shop at um, Aldi. So, um, you know, cheese is really cheap there and um, flour and the nappies and, and all of those sorts of things are cheaper. Um, and... Um, the farmers market's obviously a great option because you get to meet the farmers and talk to them and you're buying super fresh and like local produce often so yeah. How many, do you have, how, do you have kids? We do, we have one two and a half year old son, Elliot. Okay, so he's not really, he's not munching into your budget at this point because I don't know if I put that chicken out the front he... of the kids. <laughs> <laughs> or just a teenager. He, um... He, he does, I mean, he does the other night, he ate three balls of pasta for dinner, so he has days Gee. where he heaps and he ate, has days where he doesn't eat. Oh, yeah, he loves it. Well, what other <laughs> tips do you have then to, to, to help folks out there? Well, I think for us, a big thing is meal planning. So we um, sit down and I come up with about 10 meals a fortnight. So obviously, you know, you might eat out or you might go around and visit friends or have leftovers or that sort of thing. So about 10 meals a fortnight. I only try and have less than 50% of those as meat meals. And I try and get a lot of meals out of one thing. So this chicken, we'll do three dinners. So we'll do a roast, we'll do stock and a soup, and then we'll probably do tortillas or baked potatoes or something with the leftover chicken. Yeah. Um, uh, the other things that we do is, so is go um, to the farmer's market. I go try and go once a fortnight. Um, and I think it's really key to go do grocery shopping once a week or once a fortnight or, you know, once. Because every time you go in to the supermarket, you're buying twice as much stuff as what you need um, rather than just the one thing you actually went there for. Yeah, that's that, very true. That's really interesting, the chicken dish, because my mother, obviously born in Lebanon, we ate all Lebanese food, so she would have a chicken and do exactly what you're doing there. She'd make a rice dish yeah. with pine nuts and, and lamb with the chicken, then she'd do a soup with noodles. So the whole chicken would sort of get used get mm. six kids mm. out of the eight people through the course of a week mm. yeah well claire you have some great yeah, absolutely. tips on creativity because i know some of your meals are positively instagrammable and are making your <laughs> friends and family very envious talk us through your creative tips well i suppose my passion is food and i love being in the kitchen i love our kitchen um Whoa. and so i just like to be creative and use what we've got and so I think that's also one of the things is use what you've got um, and don't just go shopping because you need a zucchini replace it with carrot or pumpkin or um, that sort of thing and don't waste stuff so this is a huge cabbage and we'll never like it's massive <laughs> and we would never eat that in um, one fortnight so what I'll do with the leftovers is I'll make sauerkraut um, and then we'll use the sauerkraut for months after and add that to meals that way. You would just about never have to clean out your fridge because mm. nothing would ever go off no. because you're using it all. <laughs> no. Yeah and if we do have to clean out the fridge we've actually got um, five chickens out the back so all of our scraps go straight there. Great. Wow. And, do you take their eggs? <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. We give them the food in exchange for the eggs. That's how it works. <laughs> Do you get good reviews from the kids? Because that's crucial, isn't it? Yeah, um, I mean, obviously Elliot's only got so many words at two and a half, um, but he will tell me if something's yucky or yummy, so well, he tends to eat floor, things last it? night he ate. I think he's communicating right, if he goes back for words. three bowls of pasta, says, yes, mum, more yeah. please. Yeah. What's your Instagram yeah. account? Just and quickly, the two, so people can get ideas. Um, the Life of Claire, so the T-H-E... L-I-F-E of and C-L-A-R-E. Great Claire. stuff. Claire, it's really impressive. Thank you so much for joining Great, us. We've got lots you. of tips. Thank you so much for having me. A pleasure. Fantastic, isn't it, to cool. be able to use things. That's a great tip for everyone who's, who's so conscious much of money. Waste to be able to use so much. like a whole piece of meat in various forms. Mm. Mm. The other Absolutely. thing is to, is to be able to go to those supermarkets, the bigger chains, and get what you want there, but also to go and see your local farmers and see your local butcher to drive business at a local yes, level. Definitely. I think it's fantastic. So well done to her. Aldi would be a bit pleased with Claire this morning too, given that they've dropped in market share. Yeah. That's a good plug for She's Aldi. <laughs> she is doing her bit.